In today's video, we'll be learning all about artboards in Affinity. So without any further delay, let's get started. So when we create a new document in Affinity, it will first create the new document as a canvas. And we can clearly see this by the absence of the label indicator, which mentions it as an artboard, which is not here right now. So in order to create a new artboard, we can simply click on this artboard tool here and we can click on the plus icon at the right top left and bottom of the canva in order to create a new artboard like this so or we can simply click and drag to create a new artboard like this now you can clearly see that when we click on the plus icon the canva is being converted to a new artboard where it is being indicated by the artboard one label here so let's create a new shape inside artboard 3 for now we'll select the square shape and then give it a color of blue and then create a new square shape in artboard 3 like this so after creating a new shape we can see that the new shape is inside the artboard 3 layers of the artboard in the layer panel which is rectangle so by selecting or clicking on Arbor 3, we are selecting the Arbor 3, which is being shown that it is active by the points on its surrounding. So in order to duplicate Arbor 3, we can simply click on the command key. And by clicking on Arbor 3, we can drag it to create a duplicate. And if we would need to ho hold down the shift key, then it will make it as a constraint straight line to fix the geometry in a straight line and create a new artboard right next to it and if we leave left the key then it will create a new duplicate of it we can also use the option key to create a new artboard by pressing on the option key and just clicking and dragging similar to the previous step and then releasing it to create a new copy of artboard 3 so this is how we can create a duplicate of the existing artboard in affinity so let's explore some of the contextual tax bar settings of the particular artboard tool that we have so after clicking on the artboard tool right at the left toolbar we see different settings at the top of contextual toolbar or property so here you can first select a new size there are lots of size present for the new artboard that we can create for now, I'll be selecting iPhone 17 Pro Max and after selecting iPhone 17 Pro Max, you can clearly see that the width and height proportions are being changed accordingly to our selection of the size, which is iPhone 17 Pro Max. So in order to create new artboard of the size of iPhone 17 Pro Max, we can simply click on the insert artboard button here and it will create a new artboard that has the size of iPhone 17 Pro Max and this is also the other way of inserting or creating new artboard now the most important and amusing thing of affinity is that let's say if I select all the artboard and if I press on the delete key then we can delete all these artboards and it's asking for me if I want to delete the objects that are present here as well and i will simply select on delete objects now what we can see is that affinity has converted all the artboards existing on the screen to a canvas so the affinity's artboard feature is very dynamic and flexible but i think once we are really into it and have gained much more experience the process will be much more intuitive and be very second nature to us so this is all about artboards in affinity and if you like this video please click on the like button and if you want to know much more about affinity through future videos don't forget to click on the subscribe button as well and thank you for watching this video see you on the next video